Someone asked me if Dollar Tree has rice. Yes, they have rice. Um, it's nice to see that the shelves look a little bit fuller. I mean, right now I'm not seeing toilet tissue, but um, the shelves are looking fuller. And look at this. This is something new. Um, if you have some chicken breasts, you can um, put chicken breasts in here and make chicken alfredo. Um, to make a meal um, You could add some broccoli to that as well to make the meal fuller and Dollar Tree does have frozen veggies um, It's a whole bunch of different options. I've never seen smoked scallops. That's not something I would buy but um, Yeah Here are those mashed potatoes. I showed you guys before so there are a lot of affordable food options I'm gonna check the expiration date on this September 2020 so there's still time if you're on a budget, you know, the kids want pizza. They do have this ultra thin pizza crust, which I think I'm going to get in and make a pizza because I do have some leftover sauce from dinner last night and I do have some cheese, but they also have, um, I think this is pizza sauce. Yeah, pizza sauce here and they do sell cheese. I mean, I don't know the quality of it. There's brown rice down there. So they're definitely worth checking out the Hunt's Diced Tomatoes. You can top that on the pizza. Um, probably have other toppings. I always see pepperoni here. It's somewhere here. But I never tried this pizza crust. I'm going to give it a try. Never seen this before. Red Lobster's Signature Seasoning. My husband's going to kill me. I was supposed to be going to uh, Wendy's before the breakfast stops. But I'm... <laughs> yeah but um yeah this is definitely worth checking out oh my god longhorn steakhouse is recently come to new york i would say with a year ago and look longhorn steakhouse grill seasoning oh wow this is a good find and they even have bacon pieces applewood smoked bacon bits by McCormick. Wow, Dollar Tree, you're doing your thing in the food section, especially for those of us who are going to be on a budget now and conserving. Wow. Name brand stuff, guys. This sriracha salt is new. Never seen that before. Loving how Dollar Tree is really coming through with the name brand grocery items. I did pick up some of this in a haul many hauls ago, and I love their A1 steak sauce. Um, my husband was asking me about these. They sell them at his job. Oh, that's Brunswick. He's a name brand person, so let me walk away. He won't entertain that, but I thought it was Bumblebee. I know I've seen it here. Also, look at this. Mueller Real Mayonnaise. Is that a name brand? This is something new. And French's Yellow Mustard, that's name brand. Yeah, see, I thought that this was... Um, He's so funny, I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's so can. funny yeah. about the name brands. Yeah, so I'm gonna pass, but just showing you guys what they have in the food section. Again, happy that the shelves look fuller. Name brand items. Look at mango slices. So there are options and they do have bread. I have never tried Dollar Tree bread, but I have seen holes and they people buy it so what they have back in stock is the any tizers they have the chicken fries and then they have the barbecue chicken strips so they were good I can vouch for them these frozen pizzas are not bad you just have to add in my opinion more cheese to them but that's always an option again like I said 
they are getting deliveries and and the shelves food wise are looking much fuller so that's encouraging get this last week this has bleach in it so um, normally I told you guys I love Dawn which they finally got Dawn back in but because this has bleach in it I did buy a bottle it just was a different scent I'm gonna pick up another one because I said to myself I should have got two bottles there are some paper towels again not as many as they normally have but they do have some uh, still no toilet paper new candles from the rose collection um, I don't know guys I mean the packaging is beautiful very elegant looking um, but when you go home some of these candles do not have a good throw but I will say the throw in the store is very strong they're made with essential oils this one actually smells very nice I didn't like the way this one smelled and this one is very nice um, does it say which essential oils we don't have time for that um, but this one smells very nice I think I'm gonna give this one a try I seen on the Dollar Tree Facebook group that this lotion is the bomb.com that's what they're saying they're saying if you have dry cracked heels this is a good lotion to get so I'm just spreading the uh, message guys this is definitely new this is the nail polish removal with the spill proof pump they have it in acetone and they also have it and regular if you can't find the nail polish remover and the um, spill proof pumps you always can get these Dollar Tree has them all the time and I have one and fill it with your favorite nail polish remover last haul I got the foot mask they also have it in the hand and nail gloves nourishing soft softening and uplifting I love this body wash okay it's free of parabens and dyes it's vegan I've never seen it in the travel size that's great and also this is the first time I'm seeing this uh, arm and hammer it's a three-in-one body wash shampoo and conditioner I've never seen those in the travel size I'm really hoping that things will be back to normal before the summer so the kids can enjoy the summer I'm just showing you some of the new summer toys that they have out again more water toys I know summertime when you come looking if you don't get them now they will not be here I'm just sharing They're gorgeous these are the solar steak lights. Look at them. They keep getting better and better. Hi guys. How's everybody doing? Um, today is Wednesday. Um, I went to work this morning for a few hours to do a med pass shift to help out. Because uh, one of the nurses is had took some time off. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I hope everybody that is out of work and was affected is encouraged by the stimulus package that was approved you know people are supposed to get paid and get close to their full salaries while home um, so that is a good thing because I know that is probably something that had to be weighing on your mind on my way when I left work um, I needed to go by the I needed some Tylenol I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's no Tylenol on the shelves. There's no zinc on the shelves. Um, I didn't see it, but somebody told me, one of the nurses at work told me that they heard that you shouldn't take ibuprofen. Something with the virus. I mean, there's so much news out there. I don't even know. Um, I, I didn't even hear it for myself, and I don't believe everything I hear in the news. So I said, let me get some Tylenol, and I stopped at the Dollar Tree right by my job. Um, before you go in Dollar Tree, there's a sign on the door telling you that for the first hour, like many stores, and I applaud them, it's only closed for senior citizens. And then also it said um, that, you know, they are following the CDC good guidelines and encourage everybody to... Um, you know, to keep six feet apart, social distancing, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I watch other Dollar Tree hauls, not just mine. Um, and there was a couple of people that have been attacked in the comments about why you in the store stay home or whatever like that. Uh, Dollar Tree was considered an essential store. And I'm not going to, I mean, this one lady, 
she talked for five minutes explaining why she needed to go to Dollar Tree. I'm not going to go through that. You see the title of the video, it's a Dollar Tree haul. If you don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it. I, I encourage everyone, though, especially in these times, you should be wanting to save money more than ever. And you should go to Dollar Tree before you go to your grocery store to get your essential needs. Because Dollar Tree is popping up with a lot of name brand food items. And that's what I'm going to be showing you. Okay. So, I mean, Dollar Tree might be something that someone can only afford in this time when they need to have to make money stretch. This is another one of those bags, guys, that I got a couple of weeks back. It says, let the sea set you free. Because I forgot my other bags and that was in the car, that's what I used. So, I mean, I encourage everybody, go to Dollar Tree first before you go to a grocery store, okay? Because, I I mean, unfortunately, you can't get meat. Yes, Dollar Tree does have some kind of ribeye steak. Yes, I have seen uh, fish, you know, fillets in the frozen section. I have even seen shrimp. Um... Ah, it's not something I want to do. The only meat item I can say I bought from Dollar Tree ever was the, um, it's a name brand turkey bacon that I have bought the larger packages. Of course, they're not giving you a full size package, but if you want to just make breakfast real quick and you don't feel like going to the supermarket, I have bought breakfast frozen meats, but, uh, I have never tried their ribeye steak and I think I have even seen chicken breasts before there. But if you have to, you have to. I mean, as we can see what's going on, times are changing. And we don't know from one day to the next what's going to happen. But it is encouraging to see that the shelves in the store are going back to normal. With the exception of toilet tissue, okay? I didn't see any toilet tissue. But anyway, let's get into this haul. This was a surprise find. The Red Lobster Seafood Seasoning. And I can't wait. The next time I do a seafood boil bag, I'm going to use this. And then, um, this is a steakhouse. It's only been in New York for a little over a year and we have gone often. We don't know when we'll be able to go back again, but Longhorn Steakhouse Grill Seasoning. Um, so I was happy to find them and I did get three of each and the expiration dates are official. This one is good, uh, till 2025, both of them actually. So, um, that was a surprise find. For Mr. Fuller, I did get these sugar-free vanilla wafers, or me. Um, I've never tried them before. I just was walking by, seeing them, and grabbed them, okay? Um, something I've never tried before is this, um, pizza crust, okay? Um, yeah. I, I mean, it's, it is thin. Um... It's from Homestyle Baking Golden Home, and I did check the expiration date in the store, and it was still good. Dollar Tree does sell pizza sauce, and they do have cheese in the refrigerated section. Um, so, I mean, if you want to make pizza for the kids, you can get a couple of these. And sometimes they do have the Hormel um, pepperoni, so you can make a meal from there and save some money. If you can't afford to do a pizza night, you know. Um, another seasoning that I got... Two more seasonings that I got. This sriracha salt. Now, I don't do spicy, but this, to me, uh, would be great on French fries uh, or even wings or whatever. Um, Mr. Fuller, my son, and my father-in-law, he's with us. Um, I think they like spicy food. So, I just picked it up, and it's from Badia. Is that how you pronounce it? So, that is a name brand. And I did get the McCormick Bacon Pieces. Bacon bits, good for a salad or whatever you want to just sprinkle bacon on, like um, a baked potato with cheese. Um, potatoes are cheap. Um, a baked potato with cheese and bacon bits. I did get that. Um, something else that I found the other day, I forgot to show you guys, and I already started using it now. I told you guys that I love Dawn dish detergent. But this is Ajax. It's a bonus size, and it has bleach alternative in it. So I did get another one of this. The other one I got was like in a pinkish color, and it smelled amazing. I just want to smell this. Oh, gee. Well, I can't. I can't. But um, it's on there tight. Hold on. 
Okay, the other one smelled nicer. I mean, listen, the smell shouldn't be that important as long as it um, cleans the dishes. So when I had got the other one, I said, wow, I should have got two because of the bleach alternative. So I was happy to find this. I did get my Tylenol. Because sometimes I wake up with headaches. I told you guys, it's so stuffy in here. I just had to open a window. It's this old style cast iron heating that's very drying. So I did get Tylenol. I don't know. I'm going to do the research on why they're saying you shouldn't take ibuprofen now. And I'm like, damn, I just, and I never get the name brand one from Walmart, but I did get a large size name brand one because I was figuring not going to the stores as often this way. I don't have to worry about it. I have it. And now they're saying you shouldn't take it. I don't know. Another thing in the grocery section is this craft pasta. Um, creamy Alfredo Penny includes a uh, cheesy garlic and herb seasoning and then a creamy cheese sauce. You can add chicken cutlets to this and have chicken Alfredo. Um, you could add shrimp to this and have shrimp Alfredo. Or this can just be a side by itself. Also, you could put some um, uh, broccoli in it and it's really, really good. And even if you want to add some tomatoes um to make it more filling for meals so i did get two boxes of them and the expiration date is official it's good to september 2020 okay so i mean i might not use those items right away but they will be going in my pantry stash um i got more of these just because it's time to change them okay and a lot of those um that oh god what is it the body college body ecology uh shower jelly works amazing with this um, so yeah, I just time for us to get rid of them. I was looking at Mr. Fuller's one and it looks like it's time to go. I did find my garbage bags. These are always a reusable. I mean, are always a repurchase for me. Um, and you see there you get 10. Um, they always come in an eight count, but I always look for this bonus box, but unfortunately I can't always find them. And a plus for these is they're lavender scented. Okay, so they do smell nice. Okay, if trash can smell nice. Um, just in case, I did pick up more batteries. I don't know why I'm just like on this battery kick. Um, but I just picked up more batteries. Okay, just in case. Because like, who would have thought you have a respiratory virus and people are buying all the toilet tissue that has nothing to do with respiratory symptoms or anything. I don't know. I could see if it was a GI virus. But I'm just on a battery kick. Oh, that's another garbage bag. So I got two of those. Um, something that I said, let me find it because I was, <clears throat> I told you guys, you know, I'm on Dollar Tree Facebook groups and stuff like that. And somebody had asked, what's a good lotion for, you know, cracked heels or dry feet? And somebody said the diabetics foot cream. I have seen this in Dollar Tree for years, never paid attention to it. Um, this reminds me of a very expensive cream. I can't think of the name right now. Um, it doesn't have a fragrance, but that's not what we're looking for. It's very thick. It reminds me of, there's a name brand cream that people use for very dry skin. It really doesn't have a, um, a scent to it. And somebody said even overnight, I, I don't know, I have a thing about feet. I like my feet to be nice and soft. And I got this for my husband. Um, so I'll be putting this on for him because he won't do it himself, spoiled, but he won't. I'll give it to him and he'll say, oh, thank you and never use it. So, um, I did get this one candle. I haven't really been paying attention to the candle sections, but these are all new from the Rose Collection and, um, they always have nice packaging, but the candles, I have bought them before and if you buy them in the past, you were buying them for the packaging. You weren't buying them for the scents because when you really had very bad throw. They say these ones are made with essential oil, so maybe that will help the fragrance. I don't know. I will let you guys know how these are. Again, I always keep candles and stuff like this because in hard times or somebody's birthday, anniversary, or the occasion comes up, and or if somebody's going through something, you just want to cheer them up or make them feel good. You can put together a quick bag with a candle and a card and boom two bucks you can get the cards from Dollar Tree they have beautiful cards and you can um get a candle and it's a nice gift okay so I got that um I did see this I mean I don't need this right now and I have been soaking these nails off with 
hot water and putting uh, body wash and as water as hot as I can stand it and soaking my hands as opposed to the acetone. The acetone is very drying and harsh, but just for shits and giggles, I did pick this up. It was there. I was there. They have beautiful new scarves coming out. Um, this, you guys know, I love the head. These, I love for the head scarves. The only problem is they're making them a little bit smaller, but this one seems like a nice size. And also, this would be beautiful uh, to wear on a nice blouse or whatever. So, whenever we can get dressed up and go somewhere one day, um, that would be nice. And I also found these frames. These were something that I was on the lookout for. I seen somebody haul these weeks ago, and I happened to be walking down the aisle and seeing them. Um, and that is it. Um, now is the time to check them out if you can when you do go out. Um, and again, everybody has to be safe. I wear my mask. I wear my gloves. And again, if I did not have to work, I would not have went to Dollar Tree today. But this Dollar Tree is right around the corner from my job, and this is where I go on my lunch break. Um, I, that's just been a routine of mine since they opened, um, I run to Dollar Tree on my lunch break. So, I mean, if you do need to go out and you need things, um, you might not have that Walmart money or money for some of those more expensive stores. And even the supermarkets, it's a shame. I know they're saying that they're not supposed to be price, price gouging, but I noticed an increase in the price of meat. Um, a package of chopped meat that I would normally pay $3 for, I mean, was $6. So I think that everybody's trying to take advantage, you know, and doing it like slightly sticking you a little bit here and there. So maybe the average person who really doesn't pay attention to price would not notice, but I notice, um, an increase in the price of meats and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, Dollar Tree doesn't have a large selection of meat. If you are, you know, unfortunately due to what's going on, really strapped on cash. But they do have things that you can make a meal out of there, okay? Might not be, you know, your choice right now, but um, it's worth checking them out before you go to the supermarket. If you can get, like, your cereals from there... If you can get, I mean, some Dollar Trees sell eggs. I have not uh, gotten eggs from Dollar Tree before. They sell bread. I have never tried the Dollar Tree bread, but they do have bagels. They have bread. If you can hit them up first before you go to your supermarket, um, that will help save you money. And before I go, I want to show you, I've been talking about this laundry soap. Um, I grate this up. You can get the grater from Dollar Tree, the regular cheese grater. And I use the fine section. Grate this up, add that to that laundry detergent powder that I told you guys about, um, and add some um, scent boosting crystals. Um, I use the Perex, but they make them for Downy makes them, Perex makes them, Gain makes them. Um, yeah, and that Oxy Cleaner from Dollar Tree, mix it all up, and you have yourself a nice laundry soap. Your laundry's gonna be smelling so good, okay? So, um, that's another way you can save money, okay? There's always ways to save money. Please, people, be safe, and um, I'm happy, and I hope that this stimulus package will help everybody that's out of work right now. Um, just stay afloat until we ride this thing out, okay? Be safe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. They have these tote bags, Okay. So they have, they have four of them. I only got two. Okay, perfect for the beach or pool. Whenever that may be. Perfect for vacay. Whenever that may be. Um, I love this coral pink color. Okay, they had one in yellow. And they had one... I can't remember the other color, guys. I think baby blue. Okay, so this was a surprise find as well as I was walking down the aisle. Okay, take care. Yeah.